Howdy, this is Paul from Comish Photography, and I know you can't see me, but I assure you I'm, I'm right here. Um, so today I wanted to talk about uh, a website that I use called Fine Art America. Um, there's a lot of social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you know, making your own website. Um, a lot of that stuff is good and you should do it. Uh, oh yeah, and of course YouTube. Um, Fine Art America is a good one though. I think it's lesser known about, I guess. You know, somebody told me about it. My friend Mark uh, told me about it and uh, he's the one that helped me with my original website and he got me on this too, which is pretty cool. So what's cool about Fine Art America is that you can upload your photography and it's a great place to store it. Uh, it's kind of like a Facebook page where there's a community and there's other profiles of other artists. Uh, you can look at other people's stuff, but it's set up like a storefront. So what this is, it's basically if you don't have a website, uh, you would you could do this and you wouldn't have to spend any money on a URL. Um, obviously you have to kind of go with whatever they're doing, but uh, for selling prints and stuff uh, of either drawings or paintings or in my case photography, uh, you know, they'll make you prints, uh, they'll do canvas, metal, framed, acrylic, throw pillows, phone cases, yoga mats, uh, greeting cards. They basically are a print on demand service for uh, photography that they make available to uh, anybody on the internet. So uh, I clicked on this guy, he's kind of cool. He does like Lego pictures and you know, you could buy a, a, a canvas print of this, uh, you know, that's 40 inches by 30 inches and you know, put it in, <laughs> Put it in your room or whatever. I, uh, that's pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but it's but, but it's pretty cool. So uh, obviously this is my account, uh, and I do wildlife, so I don't I don't have any cool Lego shots, but it's giving me a lot of good ideas actually. So um, you know, like I just uploaded this photograph. Uh, it's a great horned owl that I saw, and same deal. So if you were to go onto my Fine Art America, uh, you could purchase something like that, and. Um, you know, uh, I kind of like these canvas things, they're pretty cool, because uh, there's no glass and you don't need to buy a frame, they're already kind of like good to go. Um, so what's cool is I get to pick the markup on it, so for each item, and that includes prints, uh, you know, I can decide how much money I get from the sale. Of course, there's going to be costs for them to make this, and that's the beauty of this. You don't have to do anything, you just upload the image somebody wants to buy it, of course, you know, Fine Art America is going to get, you know, the covering costs and a profit, but you get to decide how much the markup for you is. So you could say, I want $5 for this. Every time this photograph sells, I want $5 for it. You can do that. You could say, I want $100 for it. And if you're good enough and enough people want to buy your stuff and they're willing to pay it, they'll, you could get $100 if you wanted to. I don't price mine that high because I don't think anybody would buy it buy it at such a ridiculous price uh, so my markup is a lot lower uh, it's like more under it's like and nothing is over five dollars on the markup which is actually kind of high too but um, you know that's up to you it gives you a choice you know so obviously you're not doing any of the work so being able to set your own markup is really cool especially if you know you don't have the time or the energy or the money to set up your own business this is a really good way to get your stuff in an organized place where you can just show people more of it's more about networking with other artists and showing off your stuff than it is really about selling stuff but there's that option to sell so what's cool is too of course it being on the internet um, you can see where in the world people are looking at your stuff which is awesome so uh, my last visitor was from Michigan uh, you know this one was from Beverly Hills uh, I get them from France and Germany and stuff like that. So it shows you where in the world somebody looked at your photograph. So this guy in Ottawa could like look at this picture of a coyote I did and decide, oh man, I like this. Uh, I'm going to buy it, you know? So that's cool. So it makes your stuff available for purchase for people around the world. So that's cool because that's what you want to do when you create art. You want people to see it. So if that's the way they want to see it, then they can. If they just want to look at it as a, on your profile and say, oh, that's kind of neat, look what this guy does, that's good too. So it's not necessarily about making money, but it's set up to earn money. Um, what's cool about Fine Art America as well is that it's integrated with, uh, you can integrate it with Twitter or Facebook. 
So I now just use Twitter 100% for my Fine Art America like uploads. So every time I upload a photo, it automatically does it to Twitter. So I don't even ever have to go on Twitter. It just says new artwork for sale, Bobcat. And then, you know, that's kind of cool. It's a Twitter's another forum there that I'm actually kind of new with, uh, but I kind of like it a lot. So I, I kind of want to try to see how, how well I can do with uh, Twitter as far as getting just getting your stuff out there. So when it comes to this digital media stuff, especially on the internet, you don't just use one social media tool. It's kind of an integration of all of them. Um, so, you know, like again, with the Twitter, Instagram, you know, website, Facebook, Fight Art America, Patreon, you, you tie all these things together and, you know, it's kind of a collective effort there. So my Fine Art America is integrated with my personal website. Uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like real quick. I'll probably do a separate video on the website itself. Uh, this is one I paid a URL for, um, and you know it's kind of cool. There's different things you should do with it, uh, and you can get to the Fine Art America through there as well. So, what you want is as many pathways as you can for people to get and see your content, and that's what it's all about. So up here I have these short icons for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, and of course. YouTube, which is cool. So this is all on my website. So some you never know how people are going to find you, but uh, these are all uh, you know good ways to get going. And it takes time and work to get all these you know profiles started and putting stuff out there. It, it took me a while to get to the point where I have all these different apps uh, and you know platforms that I use to you know show off my work. Well, all right, I'm going to cut this video short. Uh, thanks for paying attention. Uh, you know, check out Fine Art America. I'll put a link below. Uh, if, even if you just do paintings or you do photography, you know, check it out. It's a great way to organize your work and showcase it, you know, at least have it in a digital format so you can show somebody on your phone someday if they're curious about your work or something like that. It never hurts to have a place to sh uh, have a collection. So um, I'm going to put a link below for the website so you can make your own profile. And uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video as well. And uh, you know, check out the website as well if you want. Every links for everything are there. It's comishphotography.com. And uh, have a nice day. All right, bye.